Hey babes, welcome back to a new vlog. I wanted to get this vlog kicked off by doing a Lulu's haul. This portion of the vlog is in partnership with Lulu's, which I'm so excited about. I don't know about you, but my brain has been on spring, spring outfits, just anything but this cold weather that we're dealing with currently. I really want some warm weather. So everything that I picked out is with spring, summer, and working from home outfits in mind. So we have some pieces to build some really cute spring outfits, even at transition outfits and definitely like I said working from home outfits as well let's start with outfits that I can wear while working from home it's really important for me to feel like I am put together while working from home I feel like it really helps my productivity and then I'm accomplishing what I want to accomplish throughout the day if I'm just wearing my pajamas while working from home like that's not gonna make me productive that's just gonna make me want to like crawl back into bed and go to sleep no <laughs> the first pieces that I got create this really cute set wearing things in sets and making monochromatic looks make you look so put together and I'm so happy that I'm introducing some color into my life this blue set is everything to me it is actually a knit material which is incredibly soft and really thick too I was really happy to see that this material was really thick this bralette really fits me like a dream and I love that the spaghetti straps are adjustable on it and I love this ribbed at the bottom of it that makes it kind of like a longer bralette really good coverage on this too and then for the pants they sit up really high rise and it has a jawstring on it so you can tighten them in a little bit further I don't even need to just like the placement of it is perfect on me has a nice relaxed leg throughout that kind of like flares a little bit at the bottom you can see that these are really long on me so of course I'm gonna go have to get them hemmed up a little bit throwing a cute little sweatshirt or a cardigan over top of it if you get cold while working from home that would be like a really cute addition to it too the next working from home set that I picked up was this short and tank top set in green but I also got it in this beige color as well here I am again monochromatic looks try it you're gonna love it you're gonna feel so put together so I had this one more in mind with the transition into spring when the weather gets a little bit nicer or for those days that I'm just feeling like I'm running a little bit hot in the house throw this on so that I'm super put together but obviously really really cute it's another knit material it's a different knit than the other one that I just showed you this one is a little bit looser of a knit so it's not like tightly weaved like the last one it is still really Really nice and thick really stretchy the shorts do come up high rise and they do have a jawstring on it and then for the tank top it is that perfect long crop length and then the straps are a good length on them too love the little V in the front and the scoop in the back and honestly with these two tops you don't have to narrow it to just working from home outfits like I would take these tank tops and pair it with jeans and wear it during like the spring and summertime too I got two tops as well that I would see myself wearing with jeans jean shorts especially if we're heading more towards like the late spring or the summertime or even wearing Wearing it with like trouser pants or something like that that would look so good as well this first one is like this silky satin front tie top it is also long sleeve but what I love about this is the fact that it's like a thicker material so it's not see-through by any means and then also with the tie in the front it's super adjustable you can have it like a little bit looser if you want to show more cleavage or you can tighten it up as well it does not move at all so I don't have to worry about a nip slip or anything like that like seriously when you tie it it's snug it's in place your girls are not gonna be moving at all there's so many places that I already see myself wearing this I'm so excited and I'm super excited for for this next top as well it is so unique so I obviously love my sweaters and I seriously love my sweater tank tops because it's the perfect way to bring a sweater into like the spring and even into the summertime as well this sweater material is so soft and the knit weave of it is just really gorgeous too kind of has like a ribbed look to it and of course the showstopper with this top is the back what I love about this tie detail is that you can get it to your perfect fit it's gonna fit like all waist sizes and stuff like that but this little back peekaboo moment is so gorgeous and I love that the front is still high neck and full coverage as well these are one of those tops that I just feel so comfortable not wearing a bra with because I have all the coverage that I need in the front and then lastly I do have two semi fancier options too that is a dress and then a set with like a maxi skirt so for the dress I love like how casual this is but like how sexy it is at the same time so I got this one in this like really gorgeous nude beige color but the twist front detail around your boobs is so nice the material is nice and thick so it's not see-through at all around your boobs or even on the lower half as well and I love just like the slight show of your stomach and then the lower half like the band around my waist fits really well it's really like form-fitting throughout it has slits on the sides it's not long at all 
fall so this is something that I could absolutely wear a little bit of a heel with or I can wear just sandals or sneakers with as well so really easy piece to dress up or down which I'm really excited for I can see myself wearing that in Hawaii with like a little bit of a tan and then speaking of Hawaii I am so excited for this next piece because this is definitely something that I would wear in Hawaii because no doubt we're definitely going to be going back this year or any other sunny sort of vacation spot oh this outfit is going to be like to die for and it is so freaking flattering on this is probably like my favorite piece out of like this entire haul so it comes in this set with this maxi skirt and then also with this bandeau top that has like sleeves but are kind of like just hanging off the shoulder so with this set i did go with the size extra for small and i'm really glad that i did while the skirt band at the top does have a little bit of stretch to it i didn't want it to fit too loose so i'm glad that i went with the size extra for small because it fits just so well it has a zipper on the side as well this also has two slits on the side the material is like nice and breathable it's not like too thin but it's not too thick either and then of course you can see how long this is on me so this is one of those items that I will definitely have to go take in to get hemmed up but completely worth it in my opinion and then for this top it is obviously completely stretchy so this can fit anybody and then I love the detail of the sleeves I kind of just like have them hanging off of my shoulders but I'm sure you can put them like on your shoulders as well this also comes in three different colors I got the blue one but I think it comes in like this red pinkish one and also gray too but that is everything that I picked up thank you again so much Lulu's for sponsoring this portion of today's vlog and I really hope that you guys enjoyed everything I'm sure you guys are on the same like wavelength as me like I'm already looking forward to like the next season get me out of winter if you want to look or shop any of the pieces that I mentioned of course everything will be linked down in the description I'll have the item name the color the size and of course the link to the item as well my measurements will be down there as well as a reference to you guys but of course let me know if you have any questions hopefully you guys enjoy this and let's just go ahead and get into the rest of the vlog mm -hmm. Good morning, good morning, happy Friday. We are gonna do a little bit of makeup, not too much, because I'm actually gonna do it a little bit later, but I have a meeting at 10 a.m. that requires my face to be on a camera on a Zoom call. So we are just going to put a little bit of brow on. That is what I need minimum <laughs> for my look. Maybe I'll do a little bit of mascara. So my favorite products to use for this, if you're new, but if you're not, nothing has changed. I love to use the Anastasia Brow Wiz. I use the color Soft Brown. It's a perfect match for my uh, hair color then I also use the clear brow gel I really need to get a new one of this and then for mascara I've been using this Lancome lash idol I'm pronouncing it wrong because I know it's like French or whatever uh, mascara love this it's like a good black I also love the way that the wand is like curled it's kind of fun there something like that something that's super light Push up 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 oh Man, having brows like defined and filled in just really change your appearance. <laughs> I love having brows on. A little bit of mascara, just a touch. There, nice and easy. And then last up, some lip balm. So as you can see, I'm still healing from my lip filler. I have bruising on my upper lip and in the corner as well. Things are looking a lot better than yesterday. So I did get the lip filler done yesterday and it was so swollen. And today I feel like it's less swollen, but it's still swollen. So when you're watching this video on Friday, there will be another vlog on Tuesday that was uploaded before this. And that vlog would have been from the weekend. So it's going to be filmed after today. So Tuesday's video is going to have like the most updated status update of like what my lips look like. So this is kind of like in reverse <laughs> when you're watching it. But there is still a lot of healing that needs to happen. So again, what I stated in the vlog that I posted, getting my lip fillers, this is not what it's going to look like. It still needs to heal. It's going to take probably about two weeks for things to settle. And I've been getting lip fillers for 10 years. And you guys have seen my lips before this. That's kind of like the look I go for. I go for a very natural look. I don't go for like a duck lip look or anything like that. So you kind of have to trust the process a little bit when it comes to lip filler. It's not going to look like this at all. I feel like I just need to say that. <laughs> okay, let's go pick out an outfit. I'm thinking first and foremost, 
I want to wear the new Align high neck tank top in that Heather Rover color from the Lululemon haul that I shared in the Friday before this video. It still has the tag on, but I'm gonna wear this. And then maybe pair that with my Align joggers. I think this will be nice and comfy. So our 10 a.m. appointment is for our closet design consultation to see like the designs of what she came up with from our appointment that, well, I had yesterday, but when you see this, it'll be a week ago. So I'm really excited for this. So I have my laptop, my iPad to take some notes on it. Looks like Juan's finishing up his meeting because he's gonna join, but I'm gonna get it set up so that we could have this meeting. Hey, you ready, babe? You. Almost. <laughs> I'm gonna get the Zoom set up here. I don't have paper. I have a paper right here. Yeah, but you don't know how to take notes. I don't know how to take notes? No, I do. Oh my god. Oh my god. You're ridiculous. There we are. <laughs> <laughs> How's you guys' day going so far? Good, how's yours? Good. Just a lot of meetings. Yeah. Yeah? Lunge, yeah, that they scheduled, so that's always fun. Yeah. <laughs> um, so today, basically, I'll just kind of go over the designs I have. You can okay. let me know what you like about them, what you don't want, and we can kind of make changes and go from there. Okay, perfect. Okay, so for the master, I have three options. Um, mostly revolved around your hampers because you never really know what's about that. So I have one with no hampers, one with room for your current hampers that I measured while I was there, and then one with built in hampers, basically. Okay. Um, so this is the one with no hampers. So I did play around. Um, the depths are going to be a little bit different, and that's really because of this that panel. panel here. Mm -hmm. I also, you have a lot more clothes than he does, so when it came down to working around that panel, it made a lot more sense for him to move to the other side of the closet. Okay. Just because you can't do a double hang there, and so it was kind of a big section for you because you don't have very much longer stuff. Yeah. And he had a little bit more like the 45 inches long that worked better on there. So if you guys are totally opposed to that, I can try to like come up with something different. But I played with it for a long time, and it was kind of hard to get everything that you kind of needed in there. Okay. So we are switching sides. Looks like it. If you're okay with that. That's not at all. <laughs> Honestly, what he has hanging in there is basically like these three sections, and then this is an extra double hang. Nice. Okay. Area, that would be hanging space. He didn't have that many shoes, so I kind of figured he could do shoes along the bottom here and then over here for a few overflows, and there's still like a couple extra shelves. Okay. Um, and then he has an extra shelf up here. I raised it high, but I tried to keep it where I know you could reach, Carissa. Thank you. <laughs> so I did like the max that I could do. To Perfect. Kind of and then for your side. I had your double hang over here, double hang here. Your longer stuff can go here. This would be like your long pant. And then you were talking about having lower shelves. So instead of doing any of the higher shelves, I try to keep everything on the lower side for you. Okay. And then I utilize this side over here for your shoes. Oh, wow. So awesome. this is the second one. And I'm going to email these to you. So they're all like fairly similar. Like this, I think the back wall is completely the same. Okay. So this is the Even one with the, the hampers. Yes. Um, so basically you have room for each of your hampers on this. I kind of tuck them away so you wouldn't see them. So it'd still be like visibly producing. So they're kind of in the corners, um, but there's room for each of them to tuck away. How and much then, um, room or what's the height for the space for the hampers? And then this is the one with the built-in hampers. Mm. So I kind of did them mm. on the back wall to match because they look kind of better with them. And so these would be your hamper space is here and you still have the four drawers room for it. I did hanging above and then I also did a shelf with folding. Um, this is adjustable so you can take it out if you want longer stuff or use it for shelving or shorter stuff on it. So it just okay, makes cool. it a little bit versatile by doing that. Um, and then I did double hang in the corner for you. Mm -hmm. His would be his longer hang and then shelves or extra shoe storage kind of same. I think that his side is pretty much the same as the non Mm -hmm. No hamper one. It would just he lost a double hang here. For um my shoe rack, how yes. much did you estimate? Like how many shoes could fit on there? Oh, this one you put some shoes on it. <laughs> yeah, and ours are really big. So okay. that's one thing I hate about our 3D objects is people kind of get stuck on them, and I put them in to look nice. But these shoes are huge. So women's shoes, you'll be able to get three 
for sure across. across. There's certain like smaller shoes, depending on how you put them, that you could get four. Okay. So. And then um, it is this many shelves. Them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine shelves? Nine. Yes. Okay. Because you don't lose that much space if you had built-in hampers, mm -hmm. but then you still have a space for the hampers compared to option number one. I don't know. It's something to consider. So I could go down to 18 inches and make your hanging sections bigger if you like the idea of having built-in hampers. 18 and then make like your hanging sections bigger. If just if you like the idea of a built-in one. I like the idea of making them smaller mm -hmm. so that there's more of the hanging space. Yeah. What did you think? I like them. I was not expecting the drawers and the thing to be in the middle, so it creating this symmetric view. Yeah, that's what I was kind of proposing to her, if you recall. Like when we were in there, I was like, oh, I wonder if there can be something like right here in the center that kind of like separates the mm -hmm. two. I kind of like that. I feel like it makes it look, like I said, kind of like a his and hers yeah. side of a closet. No, I really liked it. I thought it looked good. Yeah. I need to look at like the details, like the dimensions and look at the renderings again, because I don't necessarily have like a favorite out of the three options. Mm. How it looks currently, like take it upstairs, measure a bit, because I know that we are definitely gaining space, but for some reason in my mind, it's like I'm losing space by having built-in hampers. So it's like, I want to verify the space and versus how much clothes we have. And there's four drawers, right? So we can kind of divide it. Like you get two drawers, I get two drawers. Do we have more? Is this a negotiation? <laughs> no, there's no negotiation. <laughs> but I'm excited on that, honestly. Beforehand, I was excited, but I feel like after seeing it, I'm like, oh wow, like I actually really want this now. Sweet, that was really fun. Oh, uh, I am blinded. I am so happy to be blinded though. Any day, any time, I need more sun in my life. <laughs> so we are on our way to go, we as in you and me, <laughs> on our way to go pick up Chipotle. That's what I decided is for lunch today. I am starving at 3 p.m. Why do I always do this to myself? Work took an unexpected turn today. It just required like all my attention, which is so rare for a Friday. Let's see, what am I able to share? So something that I'm responsible for that I've shared before is putting out new releases of our product to our customers. However, we just started a release earlier this week and there are issues that customers are seeing. Well, customers haven't said anything yet but we can see the data on the back end you know so now we have to get a fix and then put it through our infrastructure in order to put it out again to the customers and I mean that's that's my responsibility I'm a program manager so I'm working pretty closely with the engineers right now to get a fix ready to go and everything so needless to say it's been very busy making sure that all of our partner teams are aware of the situation and then making sure that they are aware that we are trying to push a fix out today um, and any other dependencies that I have with other teams that help me push it, that they're aware that this is gonna be coming today as well. Oh, you guys. So I feel like it's gonna be a long night trying to get this out for customers. So <laughs> we're in a really good spot right now though because there's nothing I need to do at the moment. It's still at like the engineering phase. So once, they give me like the, okay, let's proceed, then I'll have work to do. So that's why it's a good moment to break, go pick up lunch and then come back, have lunch and probably just try to decompress for a moment, so. So deep breaths, right? No stress here. We got this. Easy breezy, no sweat to it. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> got the goods. Let's go back home and eat. And I guess also respond back to some work chimes. Hey babe! We got chipotle. Yum. Ah! Ah! I almost caught it. Roomba is so noisy doing her thing. Juan showing me how FedEx delivered my package on our uh, Hearity camera. <laughs> he threw it! That <laughs> Okay, babe, give me a demonstration. What did FedEx do? <laughs> I 
can't believe that, unbelievable. Okay, back to food. So, Roomba is loud, apologies, she's doing her thing. But this is my Chipotle bowl that I got. My usual, nothing new here, and then a bag of chips on the side. We're gonna go ahead and enjoy this. Our Amazon fresh order came. I'll show you guys everything that we got. <laughs> Quick little midweek grocery haul that is normal. Yeah. Well, it's not actually like midweek because I know it's a Friday. Relax. I didn't mean like legitimately middle of the week. It's kind of like when you're in between like major grocery runs is what I mean. <laughs> a little refresh. <laughs> okay. That is also not like, it's balanced. It's not the healthiest, but it's stuff that sounds delicious. So I got frosted flakes because that sounded amazing. We needed more bread. We also needed more eggs. Finally got some spinach. Babe, this has been out of stock on Amazon Fresh for like a week. I've been waiting to order, <laughs> waiting for that to come back in stock. This is hilarious because I thought that this was like the big one <laughs> and it's the baby one. So oh, that sucks. More butter. That's kind of boring. More limes for my margaritas <laughs> this is the pasta that i've been making a lot lately i don't even want to show you guys this because i want to keep it all for myself <laughs> but it is um what is it three cheese i was gonna say four cheese it is three cheese tortellini and it's just something that can stay like in your pantry it doesn't need to be refrigerated which is just awesome more gordettos it has been my go-to avocado and then we needed more like pancake and waffle mix, but the last time we made waffles that I vlogged that you guys would have seen, it was like using a protein pack batter, which it doesn't taste like normal waffles. So this is for when I wanna have normal waffles. You mean tomorrow? Yeah, we can make these tomorrow, babe. I mean, we have a new waffle maker, so. We do, we can use it. But Juan actually ended up getting another waffle maker that we didn't actually need, but it was the Mandalorian like Boba Fett, I think marketing of it. So we're gonna use that <laughs> tomorrow. Brownie mix, cause I like to have this stock just in case whenever I wanna have it. These nacho chips are so delicious. It's like when you're craving chips, but you wanna be healthy about eating chips. These are my go-to because they are just made with beans. So they're really healthy version. And then last, but certainly not least, wow. <laughs> We got some cucumbers. <laughs> These are massive. Juan showed me a TikTok of someone making this like really delicious, healthy snack involving cucumbers, white sesame seeds, soy sauce, toasted sesame oil, and like all this sort of stuff that just kind of made my mouth water. So I got cucumbers so that we can try that out. So that's everything. And I'm gonna put everything away now. <laughs> 9 p.m. and I am still working. <laughs> I think I'm gonna be able to stop working in about like 30 minutes or so, so that's good. In the meantime, we did run out and get some dinner. We just got like some tacos, I'll show you in a second. We're not like that hungry, so we got like a, a couple of tiny tacos, and then we got desserts. <laughs> that's primarily why we wanted to go out, it was we wanted dessert. Big tacos. So we got carnitas tacos, and then we got tongue <laughs> tacos. <laughs> That's clearly for Juan and not for me. But they're so little and so cute and so delicious. It's actually like a Mexican fast food chain that's all around the Seattle area, like the greater Seattle area. I'll make sure I'm putting it on the screen and forget what it's called off the top of my head. And then we got dessert. Juan got some flan. And then I got some deep fried ice cream. Oh, I'm so excited. So we're gonna go ahead and have dinner. Hopefully you guys enjoyed spending the day with me and hopefully you guys are having a great rest of your day and had a great week as well. And I'll just see you in a couple of days in my next video. Bye guys, love you guys so much. Mm -hmm.